Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 3. I am pretty sure we are about to hit the boss fight. Let's first try this area over here. And equip the torch while we're at it. Where the hell is my torch? Uh, probably I unequipped it at the end of the last video, anticipating that boss fight would immediately start, which it doesn't. I can actually see better without the torch, to be honest, but I noticed that in game, um, or in the YouTube video, in the recording, it's actually way darker than in game, it appears. So, for that, I will hold, uh, enable the torch. Ah, a shotgun. Very nice. Let's listen to what it does. A torch? A little primitive, but a light's a light. From what I can tell, that torch is made of white birch dipped in turpentine. It burns long, so I don't think you'll have a problem with it burning out on you. If you equip it and press the CQC button, you can use it to smack the enemy. You can also swing it around by pressing that button repeatedly. Useful when you need to clear the room of bats and stuff. With the weapon button, you can light and extinguish a torch. So make sure that thing is out if an enemy is closing in get used to it. The light from the torch is visible from a long way off though. It probably goes without saying, but marching into battle with a torch in your hand is not the sanest course of action. You should only light a torch when you're someplace like a cave where you can't find your way around without a light. Yeah, I hear you. All right, and now for the shotgun. Wearing the water oh. pattern, are we? The water pattern was used a lot by the old German defense force. Even though it's called the water pattern, it wasn't designed specifically to blend in underwater. They only gave it that name because the pattern resembles the waves on the surface of a pool of water. But still, it really does look like it could be confused for liquid waves. It might conceal you underwater. All right, apparently I have to equip the weapon first, I think. And let's get the first rid of those very annoying bats. Not really working. At all. Holy shit, snake, do your thing. In the previous area, I could smack him out of the air. What the hell? Right, finally. Get that picture, snake. Hello, snake. What the hell? Right, we have to do some food management, uh, probably everything. Ah, I thought it would all be spoiled already. It's not, so that's good. Let's uh, eat some stuff. Hey, this works. Right. Um, God damn it, now my health is like down because of those annoying buggers. Um, but let's drop something. Yeah, let's drop one of these glow caps. Won't, we'll not use them that often. Let's switch it out for the snake. See where we end up over there. Ah, good 
will be that the boss area actually is over there. Or not. They have no idea. What the hell did I just pick up? I totally didn't read it, what it was. Man, it are quite long tunnels, I have to say. And I don't want to immediately start the boss fight because I want to also explore that other area that we did not yet do. Alright, this is for sure the boss fight coming up. Well, the ammunition just before. Yes, that's where the boss fight will take place, I'm pretty sure. But then the other area is where we came from, I guess. Let's check that out. And also keep an eye open for the frog in this area. will actually be quite annoying if I fail the boss fight I have to probably just re-get that oh shit what's this ah this is where we came from I guess so this is the area that we just explored Yes, that's pretty much it. So, hopefully that gun is over here. What I could do now, by the way, let's be smart about it, is exit the area. Then we get back into the area and then my uh, loadout will be remembered uh, over uh, game continues. Because this is the previous area, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So we go here. And let's also still check out that shotgun description from Siggins. So let's equip it. Where the holy hell is it? Ah, here it is. I'm on it. Um, uh, you mean you're not wearing any face paint? Hello. You can take off your face paint by selecting no paint from face. Just select no paint when you want to skip wearing any face paint at all. But your camo index is never going to be as high without face paint as it is with it. Unless you want the enemy to see you, you ought to be wearing face paint. Covering your body is a good start, but a bare face will kill even the best camouflage. If the situation calls for a high camo index, you better break out the face paint. To apply face paint, select face from the camouflage menu in the survival viewer. Then choose a face paint that blends in with your surroundings. Hello, give me some intel on my nice shotgun. The again. camo index, located Jesus. in the top right corner of the screen, tells you if your outfit is getting the job done. The higher the value of this index, the harder it is for the enemy to spot you. Try your best to keep the camo index as high as possible. I heard you fought against KGB troops in the Virtuous Mission, but this time you're up against Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz is the Special Forces unit of GRU, 
the intelligence wing of the Soviet Defense Ministry's General Staff Office. Spetsnaz troops undergo rigorous training in all types of special ops, from assassination and demolition to intelligence gathering. That and Volgan's loaded, man. His unit is one of the best equipped in the entire Soviet Union, if not the best. I heard the enemies you encountered in the Virtuous Mission were only carrying weapons like AKs and grenades. Well, it ain't that simple anymore. In addition to AKs, some of the patrols you'll encounter might be equipped with Scorpion submachine guns and shotguns. The Scorpion is even lighter than the AK, making it much easier to handle. Basically, a guy with a Scorpion is not going to miss you as often as with an AK. The shotgun is a powerful weapon. One blast is enough to floor you and you're likely to be seriously wounded. Watch for that, man. Right, so that's only some indirect information about the shotgun. Really weird. I thought that if you get like a new weapon, they would immediately comment on it. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie swamp. All right, whatever. Let's uh, clear our loadout for the fight. Um, so that means unequipping the M37, the torch. I will be probably using stun grenade and chaff grenades. Um, that's about it. Buck juice, maybe for the bees, maybe that will help. Let's also eat a bit to have like full uh, stamina. Hmm. All right, the only annoying thing is, super annoying, is that the, those Bats actually got quite a chunk of snake's health down, so I'm not really sure whether it's the smartest thing to now start the fight. Maybe it's best to be a bit patient and let it heal. Let's lie down, maybe healing will go quicker. Ah, wait, we have healing music. see that much uh, improvements to be honest let's see if snake is hurt no he's not all right let's do some more healing music almost there because then i will save the game because i do expect that i will have to retry it a couple of times it will be annoying if i just have to do this boss fight Without max health, uh, it, yeah, it might be just that little bit I need to win the fight. But I would think that the snake's health would improve a bit more rapidly than it does now. Nothing is happening. I'm really ridiculously watching the life meter and it's just static. Alright, this is simply not working and it's also not my favorite song. God damn it, annoying song. Uh, 
yeah, really weird while walking about. I, I did notice Snake's health to improve, his life meter. I mean, he does have like a full stamina bar, so that should help with healing. And maybe it seems like now it actually is improving a bit, or isn't it? I cannot really see any incremental improvements. Oh, we don't want to go there. But it does seem to be filling up slightly. Yes, now I saw an incremental um, jump up. And again one. Now it's actually going quickly. I'm really not sure what's happening here. You would think listening to healing radio and lying down would improve snakes regen but actually just standing here does a way better job one more jump up and i'm well back at full health come on snake you can do this one more jump up elf uh, this is by the way already good enough for me but let's see let's give it 10 more seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 uh, I didn't see it jump up but it looks good enough for me so now let's get out of here and let's get back in there and save the game and then tackle the boss fight here we go you want to save hold on a sec Snake, have you seen Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? What? Dr. Strangelove. Have you seen it? Uh, no. It's about this insane American Air Force commander who sends a bomber out to drop an H-bomb on Russia. It's a black comedy. Doesn't sound very funny to me. The actor who plays Dr. Strangelove also plays two of the other main characters. It's actually kind of funny once you get past the scary parts. It just came out this year, so I bet you could still go and see it. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. All right, here we go. By the way, let's see what are the... Yeah, let's just do... No paint for the water. Alright, and I really wonder, did I overlook the keratin over here? I really don't want to. Because that actually means... That I will have to replay the fight if it's not in the boss area but let's hope it is let's just check it out let's first look for the keratin in the boss area I will 
guide you to a world of anguish beyond your imagination. Let's get started. Holy shit. Let's, uh, what shall we do? I wanted to say let's let's test some book juice. Holy shit! That are killer bees. Ready! Holy shit! Not sure what's happening, but let's first just um, try and find the keratin. Then we will worry about the rest later on. We will worry about the pain later on. Where are you? I think I can also <coughs> explore this area after I taken him out. Um, can I shoot him from below the surface? Let's check out. Check that out. Automatically um, fills back up. Hey. This is actually pretty on, doable. <coughs> I I remember this fight to be much harder. I can just simply kill him from below the surface. Although I do have to get him out of his armor now. Anything? 
new Tommy gun! Also eat a bit for the stamina. This tastes great. And I need to, I think, take regular grenades to take him out of his uh, armor oh, mode. My brother! agree with you there. I'm really doing this badly. Uh, yeah. real wow, what the hell? Holy shit! Chef grenades. Is that the best you can do? And a stun grenade. God damn it. He really doesn't give too much. He doesn't care too much. Then it's actually pretty easy. I, I found the same with the Ocelot fight, which I initially found very annoying. It was actually pretty doable. shooting even if he's hit by freaking is that all you got 
grenades. Man, this is going way too slow. Alright, I will be using this simply as a practice run. Because it's not even that hard of a fight. You just have to know his moves a bit. Let's listen to some tips. Snake, as long as the pain is using his hornets to protect his body, you won't be able to damage him with gun attacks. You'll need to use a grenade to get rid of the hornet swarm first. Go into first person view and throw a grenade at him. The shotgun should work as well. Ah, get rid good. of those hornets protecting him and then attack him with a gun. That's a good tip. Shotgun the work. pain seems to be directing swarms of hornets to attack you. Be careful. If you're attacked by a swarm of hornets, your life will steadily decrease. When the hornets come to attack you, you can cause the swarm to scatter by shooting at it with your gun. Also, the hornets can't follow you into the water, so you can get away by diving into the water. The also hornets are tip. also vulnerable to fire and smoke. You can keep them away from you by using a smoke grenade. Swing a torch around using the CQC button should also work. Also a good tip. Holy shit. A lot of good tips. Snake, watch out for those bullet bees he shoots. Bullet bees are the name the pain gives the special hornets he raises inside his own body. And if they get into your body, your wounds will become worse and worse until you get rid of them. If you're afflicted by bullet bees, go into the survival viewer immediately and use Cure to dig them out with your knife. Holy shit, also Once the bullet bees are out, don't forget to apply styptic and disinfectant to the wound. Snake, if the pain's hornets stick to you, you won't be able to move freely. If hornets start to stick to you, take care of them before they prevent you from moving altogether. Either jump into the water, or wave your survival knife around to drive them away. If you become unable to move, wiggle the left stick and press the buttons rapidly to shake them off before you get shot. Understood? All right. Snake, not even the pain's special hornets can pursue you into the water, and the grenades he throws will only be half as deadly underwater. If you sense danger, escape by diving into the water. To dive underwater, press the crawl button while you're swimming on the surface. To move forward underwater, press either the CQC button or the crawl button. Use the left stick to control your direction. In a pinch, you can press the action button to quickly rise to the surface. Also, handguns and rifles can be fired underwater. You can use these to attack targets above the surface as well. All right. The pain can utilize the hornets under his control to seek out his enemies. Being spotted by the hornets is the same as being spotted by him. Keep an eye out for hornets above you when you emerge from underwater. Snake, not even the pain's special hornets can pursue you into the... Snake, watch out for those bullet bees he shoots. Bullet bees... Snake, you won't be able to see a thing with a swarm of hornets covering your head. The hornets can't follow you into the water. If you find <coughs> the vision being blocked by a swarm of hornets, dive into the water. You could also try driving them away with the smoke from your cigar. 
Waving your torch around with the CQC button should also work. Okay. Cigar, there are many handy uh, tips out here. You might be able to trap some of the hornets by throwing a hornet's nest at them. If you succeed, it should reduce the number of hornets the pain has at his disposal. It might even make the nest taste better. Try it out. If only I had one. Hornets are known to display extremely aggressive behavior in response to the color black. So don't wear black clothing. Instead, try wearing white clothing. It should reduce the severity of the hornet's attacks. All right. Man, these are handy tips. It's almost too many to remember. Using insecticidal bug juice on yourself should make the hornet's attacks less severe. Try it out. You might be able to trap some of the hornets by throwing a hornet. Using insectis. The pain is said to possess the power to control his hornets at will. Watch out for insect based attacks, especially his so called bullet bees. The pain doesn't just use hornets, he's got guns and grenades in his arsenal too. Be especially careful about those grenades. Snake, watch out for those bullet bees. Bullet Bee is the pet name the Pain gave to a special type of hornet that he keeps inside his body. When the Pain gives the order, they fly at their target like bullets, burrow into his body, and eat away at his insides until he's dead. If you get hit by a Bullet Bee, go into the survival viewer right away and heal yourself on the cure screen. That being said, despite the name, a Bullet Bee is really just a type of hornet. They can't follow you into the water. If the Pain launches any at you, dive under the water. The pain can supposedly use his hornets to create a copy of himself and confuse ah, the enemy. Again, I remember this. If he does that, try and figure out which one is real and attack it. When he copies himself, the hornets that normally protect him will be used to create the double. That means you'll be able to damage him with a gun. But be warned, if you screw up and shoot the double, or you take too long to shoot, you'll get hit with a counterattack. Snake! Watch out for those bullet bees. Bullet bee is the pet. The pain is said to possess the power to control his hornets at will. Watch out for insect-based attacks, especially his so-called bullet bees. The pain has the power to control swarms of hornets at will. Watch out for his hornet-based attacks. Not even the pain's special breed of hornets will be able to follow you underwater. You're a good swimmer, right? If you're being harassed by any hornets, dive into the water. The pain has the power to control swarms of hornets. All right, that was it. Watch out. So I propose to simply get myself killed. Start over. Hopefully at the start of the area. Ah, god damn it. We start inside the bus area. Otherwise I would have done some housekeeping. I can actually still do that. But let's see how much uh, if it takes a lot of retries. Uh, housekeeping I would have done in the sense of uh, equipping the right items and then uh, saving the game so that it I don't need to redo that upon every retry. But let's do that now uh, for once like so. White shoot snow. White should have an effect on the hornets. Um, cure I will need to use for those bullet bees if I get attacked. Food I'm good. And then what do we need? Um, we can shoot him as well with the shotgun to get him out of his armor. I can use the torch to swing at the bugs. Um, I need the grenades to get him out of his armor. Smoke grenade. Oh, 
is for the bugs. I need to unequip something. And do I have like a bee nest for the hornets? Nope. Um, which one do I want to? Can I unequip something? Yes. Stun grenade and the chaff grenade unequip. Smoke grenade I will equip. So that is about the weapons. Then the items. Bug juice, obviously. The cigar for the hornets. And maybe the cardboard box as well. I will just try the cardboard box. Let's see what that does. So we are pretty good to go, I would say. So let's go and try it. fire weapon for those grenades so let's do the AK-47 do I have the right button? Done. Nope. grenade! here we go AK Right, I had the weapon set to single shot, which is a bit retarded. Right, there he comes again with his grenade. And with his Tommy gun. Um, let's do full auto. At 
least I got in there. Not that um, much damage, but at least I'm doing some damage, and he's hardly uh, damaging me. So that is the rule I learned from. Where the hell do I need to go? What I learned from. always learned from the dark the dark souls if you can hit it even if it's a minimal um, percentage you can win it just be patient consistent and rinse and repeat hey he is actually gaining health back what the hell is up with that what that was all about. Right. Man, it is a bit annoying, I must say. Right, let's get some more bullets. Is that all you've got? You just taste some real pain! take some food all right it's a pretty slow fight but uh yeah at least i'm making some progress in my view great. let's shoot him 
Let's see if the shotgun has sufficient range. Oh, you just run away! Give the taste of real pain! Damn it, that's annoying beast. Um, no grenades. Let's use the shotgun. That's way more effective at getting him out of his armor. Let's try the AK. That's not working. Alright, did they actually hit me? No. Nothing to cure. Let's get some more grenades. I think they were over here somewhere. There they are. It is actually pretty a f uh, fun fight. I mean, you just need to be patient. Is my take on it. But it really forced you to use quite a uh, fucking hell. Mark 22. Here we are. Grenade! Alright, I did hit him a couple of times. bullets anyways Press R3 and that uh, switches between the totally free camera of uh, uh, the HD collection version uh, versus the uh, old camera of the original game, which is only top down and very limited. So that was pretty stupid. Now I have way more control over uh, the camera. Is that all you got? Which is a good thing my book um, I'm also going to use some buck juice and I'm also going to check out the cardboard box actually let's see what that does I don't have any grenades, which is annoying, but let's just throw a smoke grenade, see what it does. What's that? Smoke 
smoke grenades what, did it did it choke? Let's get some other grenades over here to the left. I don't think I will make it. annoying. There's one move that we didn't see yet. And that is... Um, his double ganger move. Take the chance. I'm just gonna get, get one shot down. Grenade! Right, those bullet bees actually didn't do that much. They didn't even. Yeah, I under. I assume those yellow ones were bullet bees. Nothing really happens. Let's get some stamina going. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Holy shit, he did get me with that grenade. Asshole. Here we go. Alright, second half of the fight. I assume. Oh, hitting the timer. But we'll be continuing. Yellow 
Go! Get it! Holy shit, those are pretty heavy duty. Uh, yeah, I could cure them, but I also want to take the opportunity and actually uh, shoot him immediately. So let's hope that's still possible. And also let's equip life medicine. I'm not sure what those are. Yellow one. Really don't know. Let's get some more stamina going for the health regen. Let's see what these do. Those bullet beasts, they are crazy. Crazy. I might actually not make this fight. I was thinking it was going pretty strong, but with these bullet beasts, that is a totally different matter. Um, Um, uh, sorry, that's in fact. Holy shit, there's another one. Get the hell out of here. fire those bullet bees if I get the grenade if I shoot it out of the sky Very close goal. He also actually three yeah, throws like normal grenades. Embarrassing. Alright, let's see if those bullet bees indeed immediately come after. That actually also removes his own bees. But now he said, Go, my brothers, and I think that are the bullet bees. So I. Embarrassing! 
right. Those bullet bees are really annoying. He could actually... God damn it, that R2 trigger is so finicky. Uh, okay, of course. My bad, it shouldn't work here. Tommy God! I need some food. Man, it's getting tight. What can I say? And I am already way over the one hour limit. Um, and I'm still only halfway getting it down, a little bit over. So I have to end the episode here guys and we'll do a short episode immediately after and try to finish this fight, hopefully. Uh, hope you enjoyed, hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming.